Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You good? Everyone yeah. good? Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Tiana. I'm Hi. a sophomore. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm a freshman. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Shine. I'm a freshman. We're from Lincoln Southwest. Stop! <laughs> and this is our poem, Back in My Day. They say, the more you love something, the easier it is for that thing to make you mad. Okay, maybe only I say that. However, However when, it when it comes down, down to family, and more importantly, grandparents, I hold this to be truer than true. As an example, I will escort you through my grandma and I's conversation this morning. As most conversations go, we started out with some mediocre small talk before getting to the ever-present monologue I like to call the, the generational, generational shading. Like always, it started a little something like this. Back in my day, we worked until we bled and we didn't complain because we didn't have the time. We, we are, are not complaining. complaining. We, we are, are fighting, fighting for rights for everyone. everyone. It's called freedom of speech. At least I'm able to voice my own opinion because I have the right and respect to. Because being a woman, woman I, have I have to fight, fight for my rights and I cannot, cannot do that, that silently. silently. Back in my day, we knew what love was. Your generation has skewed it to mean something different. I know what love is because I know the hole it leaves in your heart when it is ripped away. I am not afraid to love and I don't have to save it for only one person. I am not too young to feel emotions. I have every right to them as you do. In, in modern, modern days, we are trying to spread love everywhere, everywhere. But, it is still it. but people still sit with hates in their heart claiming they know what love is. As much as people preach their hate, I will preach my love. Back in my day, we respected our elders. No matter how old you are, you make mistakes. It's, it's how, how you live and learn. And learn. Our, our parents are not always without fault, and the blame isn't always on us. us. Just because you're 40 doesn't mean you can't apologize. Making, Making children, children feel, feel like, like they're, they're always in the wrong, in the wrong at a young, young age does not help their future. future. Recognize that being truly honest is not the same thing as disrespect. Back in my day, we used straws at all meals, and it wasn't a crime to drive a diesel. <laughs> the metaphorical and literal trash can that we are trying to fix. But it's, it's hard, hard when, when stubborn people ignore science. science, and now our generation has to deal with the repercussions. It is now our responsibility to fix it. And as, and as much, much as technology, technology has improved, thousands of years of neglect cannot be reversed immediately. Back in my day, we weren't that sensitive. Back in your day, you said what you wanted, using the freedom of speech you liked so much. You liked it until someone else used it. It's not that we got more sensitive, it's that we're stronger to voice the injustices now. Our, Our voices, voices are, are louder, louder now. We, we stand, stand together, together now. now. Back in your day, you were quiet. Our voices have the power to change the world. Our voices are strong. They can change our lives. And, and together, together we, we speak, speak up. up.